This is a demonstration of conservative and non-conservative forces. The conservative force we're going to look at is gravity, and the non-conservative force that we will look at is kinetic friction. A conservative force does no work while the object executes a closed path. So for example, if I start with this block here, and this is my starting point, I go horizontally, vertically, over, and back down, with my ending point being my starting point, I've executed a closed path with this object. Let's look at the work done by gravity in, in, in moving through this, this square-shaped path. As, as the object, as the block moves from here to here along the table, it's moving horizontally. But gravity acts vertically. And so the displacement of the object and the force itself that we're considering the work for, namely gravity, are perpendicular to each other. And that force of gravity does no work if the, for, if the displacement and the force are perpendicular to each other. Now when gravity, uh, as the block goes vertically for this leg of the square, the displacement is up, gravity is down. And when the displacement is in a direction that's opposite gravity, then the work done by gravity is negative. So we got zero work here, a negative amount of work here. Then we're going to move along the top edge of this square. While we're moving horizontally, gravity is vertical, the displacement is horizontal, the work done is zero. And then finally, the simplest possible case is where I, I go from this corner back down to my starting point again. In this case, the displacement is vertically downward. That's in the same direction as gravity. And when the force and the displacement are in the same direction, the work done by that force is positive. So we've done zero work here, negative work here, zero work here, and positive work here. And the positive amount of work done on this side exactly uh, cancels out the negative amount of work done on that side. So the net effect is that the, the net amount of work done by gravity as this block executes this closed path is zero. That's what we mean by a conservative force. So let's look at the case of friction. Kinetic friction acts in a direction that's opposite the displacement. So I'm going to imagine doing a, a square on the table's surface here, 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 and here, coming back to my starting point again, and I'm going to ask what the work done by kinetic friction is. As I go from here to here, the displacement is in this direction, but the kinetic friction is opposite that displacement. So the work done by the kinetic friction in that case is negative. As I do this leg of the square, the displacement is in this, and the velocity are in this direction. The kinetic friction opposes that displacement. It's in this direction. So again, the work done is negative because the displacement and the force are opposite each other. What about this leg? The displacement is in that direction, kinetic friction in the opposite direction. Again, a negative amount of work. And then finally here, displacement toward me, away from you, and kinetic friction toward you, they're opposite again, you get a negative amount of work. So each one of these legs of this, of this closed path that this block is going through, kinetic friction does a negative amount of work. So none of those are going to cancel each other, and you're just going to get four times that negative amount of work for each one of the legs of the square. So kinetic friction is not a conservative force because the work that it does in executing a closed path is not zero. In this case, it's negative. 